Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks for checking in videos by bikers for bikers. Another completely free video for you guys. A lot of guys wonder their clutch gets out of adjustment on their Harley Davidson motorcycle. We've got your back on this, guys. We're going to show you how to adjust that clutch internally, remove your clutch inspection cover, get at the uh, adjuster nut, lock nut, and bolt. And uh, we're also going to show you how to adjust your clutch externally, right in the cable, in line, uh, the adjuster nuts and stuff, so you can get your clutch just exactly how you want it. This is going to work for cable clutches, guys. In this video, don't freak out. We actually are going to, for visual purposes, and we did some other practice, uh, projects, we actually have the whole inner primary re removed. So when you see that in the video, you don't have to remove your whole inner primary. All you actually have to do, we're going to show you how to do that, is just remove your clutch inspection cover. There's just five Torx bolts. So with that said, what do you say we get wrenching, huh? Before we get our hands dirty, don't forget to check out all our free videos to help bikers out there on our YouTube channel and over on our website. All right, and with a uh, T25, we're going to get started here, and he's got five of these T25 bolts that he's going to back out of this clutch inspection cover. All right, he's got his last one there, backing out. We'll set this aside. We're going to have to drain the oil out of this primary is why we're taking that off. So now what we're going to do is adjust the clutch um, down here at the clutch basket. First thing we need to do is take some tension off the clutch because we don't want to be falsely adjusting it down there. So we want some play in our lever up there. And the way you do that is just find your cable, your clutch cable, 9 16 and half inch. And then we'll just back this adjuster nut off so we can get some play. And then we'll adjust it down at the clutch basket. All right, and so with his wrenches there, he's just working on backing that off. You can see that top nut is just your, kind of your lock nut that locks the actual adjuster into place. Once he gets that off, he can just turn this bottom one. That's your actual adjuster, and he's just gonna back it off till we get a bunch of slop in the cable. And once you get some play, he's checking we got plenty of play up there. You see all that slop, that's good. Now we know we can actually adjust it down here. So to properly adjust a Harley clutch uh, internally at the clutch basket, pretty simple process is you see right there is a threaded adjuster bolt. And that's a 7.30 seconds Allen wrench is how you can uh, tighten and loosen that. Most of it can be done with your fingers. And then the other is the actual lock nut. All that nut does is locks it in place. So what we've done at this point is back that nut out. Uh, the lock nut gives us the ability to adjust the clutch. So now we're just gonna turn the actual bolt in until you feel a little bit of resistance. And that's actually your, your clutch uh, engaging there, the point of engagement. And so he's gonna show you again, where to, the first thing you wanna do is just back it out a little bit so it's nice and loose. Now he's gonna turn it in. Just until he feels pressure, you'll feel the clutch start to seat. There we go. And uh, once you get it in place, we're gonna use an Allen wrench. This is a nice little trick. The reason we're using instead of a socket or something, we're using that Allen wrench is because once you seat it, you back it off one half turn and we can actually tell with that wrench to the very straight up position is one half turn exactly. He's going to hold that. And now he's going to lock that in place with that lock nut. And that's an 11 16 inch wrench that he's going to be using here. And so at the same time, you can hold your Allen and then he can wrench that down, put some good pressure on it, get it locked in place and that is a properly adjusted Harley clutch internally. Now we're gonna move up and adjust it at the lever to see uh, how much play and how much slack we want up there. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you wanna make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabitingbiker.com slash Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever want to just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it lawabidingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. Okay, so he's got his 9 16 and half inch wrench, and he's going to start adjusting. 
the clutch at the cable. And so he's just going to be turning that and taking the play. Again, this is just adjusting your lever and how you want, how far out you want to let your lever before your clutch engages. And that's all personal preference, depending on what kind of riding you're doing. But he's just adjusting it at this point at a base level. You can go ride and see if you like it. Take a couple wrenches with you if you want. You can get really picky about it. But a good rule of thumb for kind of how they come out of the factory is, is getting it tight enough. And you see he's turning it out. And that's actually tightening the cable. And a good, the good rule of thumb is when you come up here is to have your clutch, and you can just keep reaching up here, is just a little play, like about that much. This has got too much still. We're going to tighten a little more, but just a hair of play before you feel it start getting tight. But this one's still pretty loose, so we're going to take a little more out of it. And that's almost perfect where we've got it. Just a little play right there, you see, just a little bit. And then right there, after you work out your play, is where it gets tight. And so that's pretty much how they come out of the factory, if that's what you want to do. Again, personal preference on that. And then once you get that done, make sure you take your lock nut and lock it down on top of that adjuster by turning them in the opposite directions. And that'll keep everything set the way you want it. All right, so we're going to put the clutch inspection plate back on, but you see this orange gasket in here? Uh, you can replace that if you want, but we do like 10 plus oil changes without replacing those new ones. They, they seal up fine. Up to you. Then you're just going to get these fingers started. All right, so there's five of these uh, T25 torch bolts going to star pattern when you're torquing them. One, two, three, four, five. You want to tighten them down with even pressure. That's what he's doing. He's got his torque wrench set at 84 to 108. These can strip out easy and a lot of guys over tighten them, so we don't use a torque wrench for everything, but these ones we definitely always use a torque wrench, so check your torque specifications, but most of them are 84 to 108. All right, and all those are appropriately torqued down. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.